Okay, so we're going to talk about exactly what you would say when you host coach your hostesses for an upcoming show. This form is an older form from Pampered Chef. It is called the Host Information Checklist and can be found on our team page um, when you search the word um, host coaching. You can fill in the contact information at the top, host information about what they're hoping to get. What I do most of the time is I snip this section right out here and I put it on the front of my binder of live active shows so I know exactly what I'm supposed to be saying every time I call my hostesses and then you're eventually going to be able to get that uh, down pat. So it's gonna sound something like this. We are going to make our first phone call. I'm gonna say, hey Deb, it's Sue with the Pampered Chef. I just wanna confirm that we're on for January 31st at six o'clock at your house in um, Southwest Boulevard in Canterbury, is that correct? Deb's gonna say, yep. I'm gonna say, great, if you've got a quick second, Deb, I want you to go ahead and grab the host packet that I gave you. It should be in a colored envelope or a clear plastic Ziploc baggie and grab out one of the catalogs. Once you've got that, let me know. I'm gonna hold on the phone for a second. Did you got the catalog? No? All right, I'm waiting. All right, great, got the catalog. So on the back of the catalog, you will see the host rewards. Based on the amount of your show sales, you will earn free products, you will earn half price products, and you will earn discounted products. Plus, I sent you an email when I set your show up and attached at the bottom of that dear host email, there is a monthly host bonus. I want you to take a peek at that because you get that at 60% off. So this month it is XYZ. You cannot use your free products to pay for your half price products or your 60% off products. They're all separate buckets. So let's look at the $1,000 mark. Do you see that we only need to collect a th um, $215, um, $1,000 mark is $1,000 in guest sales and you earn $215 in free products, five half price items or half price sets as well as the monthly 60% off item and 30% off anything else you purchase on your show that night. So this is like an unlimited free shopping spree, kind of like Kohl's coupons. You're gonna get 30% off anything in the catalog. So I want you to make sure that you're thinking outside of your own kitchen. Who do you need to buy gifts for this season? Lastly, um, you can, um, use $25 or $50 of your free products to use towards a kit credit if you decide that you would like to join Pampered Chef and earn a little extra money by becoming part of our organization. I just think that you would be great at this and I would love to have you on. So I want you to think about that because all the bookings from your show will jumpstart your business. So I want to talk about how to have $1,000 in um, show sales. A thousand dollar show comes from having a lot of people at your show. There is a show planner that I put in your host packet and it has a list on it of 40 lines for you to invite guests. It's important for you to invite 40 people and to mix the crowd. You want to make sure that you're inviting your neighbors and the reason I say that is because your neighbors want to see your house and they want to meet you but they don't want to have dinner with you because that is way too awkward. They want to be able to get together with you and meet you in a social environment and I'll be the entertainment for you and that way they can pop in and leave as they feel comfortable and if you approach your neighbors Deb and you let them know, hey, I'm trying to get some of the people from our neighborhood together. I thought of having a Pampered Chef party. I hope that you'll come they're gonna think, great, I always wanted to meet the girl in the purple house down the street. So you're gonna get people that may, you may not know very well, but those tend to be the highest orders because they don't wanna be embarrassed, so they're going to place a nice order on your show. Plus, you're gonna to get to meet some of your neighbors and maybe you'll have a block party this summer. Um, you wanna mix the crowd, you wanna have some people from church, some people from the gym, some of your friends, some of your coworkers, some of your neighbors, and some relatives. And the reason we wanna do that is this. If we only had everybody from church coming to the group, if somebody had a funeral to go to, the entire show would blow out because all of those people would be at the funeral. So mixing the crowd makes it not only more fun, but you'll have higher sales, plus you'll get more bookings from that. 
And from every booking we get, Deb, from your show, you're going to get a half price item called a future party pick. And that will be a half price item on their shows. And that's good for up to six months. So let's say they book this month and then somebody books next month and then somebody books three months out. You're still getting a half price item in future um, shows and that could be even future catalogs. Now in that packet, I gave you some postcards and some mini catalogs. Did you get the, the text that I sent you that was a um, save the date? Were you able to successfully download that to your phone and get it up on Facebook and, and text it to your friends? Okay, great, perfect. So I talked about um, the kit credit. There is an opportunity brochure in your packet and I just want you to take a peek at that. Is that something that you've ever considered before is owning your own business? They usually say no, don't panic. Say, okay, great. Well, I just want to plant the seed there because this is definitely something that you could do. You don't have a huge obligation with Pampered Chef. You can just give it a try and see if this might be a good fit for you. And if it is, you can stay on. If not, you're allowed to keep all the products once you hit 12.50 in guest sales. So I'd love to talk about more about that the next time we call. So take a peek through that brochure. Now, um, I'm going to be touching base with you about how many confirmed RSVPs we have. How many that say yes, we're coming and how many say maybe. So I want you to keep a list on that sheet for me as to how many you have and check them off so that when I call next Monday, we'll be able to have an idea of how many people we have coming so far. Um, uh, where would you like to do the party, Deb? Do you want to do it in your kitchen, in your living room? Where do you have the most space in your house? Because a show doesn't have to be in the kitchen. It doesn't have to be in the dining room. It could be on a patio, it could be in a living room. You could, if it's in the living room, you could set up a table and you can walk to the microwave and stick it in the microwave and walk back while it's cooking and talk about other products. Then you're gonna talk about payments. Um, debit and credit is preferred for my form of payment, Deb, but if people do need to write out a check, they can write out a check to me prior to the date of the show. And when I come to pick the outside orders up or those people at the show, I'll take those checks with me. But if anybody needs to write a check after the show, we're going to want them to write the check to you, Deb, and then we're going to use your debit or credit to pay for their order. So make sure that you get all of their contact information, name, address, phone number, email. I need all of that information in order to enter a, a show order. Um, we're going to have a Facebook event if you would like, and I'd be happy to set that up for you. Um, I prefer to use events or groups, whichever you prefer. You tell them, you decide that you're going to set it up, and then you make them the co-host, or they can set it up and make you the co-host, and then you're going to set the date for the next call. My suggestion to you is that you make calls every Monday or every Tuesday. And the reason being is the first Monday of the month, these people are getting their first call. The first Tuesday of the month, some people are getting call three because their, their show is that week. If their show is next week, they're getting the second call. And if their show is three weeks out, they're getting the first call. So if you make calls every Monday, then you can, you know, you're talking to the people that you're going to their show on is call three that week. So it's getting directions and things like that. So second call, hey Deb, I'm so excited about our show coming up on the 31st. How are the RSVPs coming? How many confirmed yeses do we have and how many maybes? You'll often get responses like, oh, I think I have about seven. Okay, Deb, of those seven, how many have confirmed? Oh, I only have two that are confirmed. That's an important term to use. If they do not have a lot confirmed, you need to share ideas on how we can increase their attendance. Here's a suggestion I recommend that you tell all of your hostesses. Deb, who is your BFF, your sister, or your mother that you know is coming and would love to see you get lots of free products? Oh, my sister, Sally. Okay, I want you to call Sally and I want you to ask Sally to bring three friends with her to this show because if she does that, I'll give her a prize, plus you'll end up with lots of outside orders um, and extra guests there, okay? And if your mom, your sister, and your best friend all do that, if they ask nine people to come, maybe two or three out of those will come and that will make up for the um, cancellations that we get the day of the show. I want to warn you that. A lot of people are going to not RSVP to your show 
that's just the environment that we live in. That's why doctor's offices and dentists make phone calls to remind you about your appointment. We're going to have to do the same thing. The people who do RSVP right away are the no's. So don't panic when you get your first five no's because those are the organized people that open their calendar and go, oh, I'm away that weekend or I have something going on that weekend. So trust me. So you're prepping your hostess that knows are normal, that's what she's gonna get first. And that um, she needs to expect last minute cancellations, somebody gets sick, somebody, you know, it's cold, they don't wanna get in their car, whatever. Okay, so explain the guest special again. Um, tell them that there's an outside order to attach to their dear host letter. You're going to discuss um, if they need to email addresses for outside orders, because we cannot put an order in without an email and a phone number. Um, discuss the recipe with them. So Deb, I just want to remind you that you're going to pick up all the ingredients for the recipe that we decided, chicken chipotle nacho dip, and I'm going to bring all the tools for it. Please make sure that you ask any of your friends if they're hoping to see a special product, because if they say that they want to see the wine chiller or something specific like the champagne cork, I have those in my basement, but I may not have them packed in my kit. So if there's something special you want to see, just shoot me a text so I make sure that I toss it into my, into my bag, okay? Um, so again, we're going to talk about the opportunity. I know that at my last call, Deb, we talked about whether or not you would be interested in joining the Pampered Chef, and I asked you to take a peek at that brochure. Did you get a chance to take a peek at the brochure? No? Okay, I'm telling you, I think you'd be great at this, so I want you to take a peek at that. I know that you may not ever consider it, but you never know. Plus, if you know somebody who could use some extra money, whether it's a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars a month, make sure that you invite them to the show so that they get to see how easy my job is and they may wanna join as well. Um, this is a team effort between you and I, so I just wanna make sure that if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way, you can let me know. Is there anything I can do for you? Call two, done. Call three, this is the week of the show or the you know right before the show. Deb, I'm so appreciative that you're inviting me into your home. I know we're gonna have a great show. Let's finalize our guest list. How many yeses did you end up with and how many maybes do we have coming? I wanna make sure I have enough catalogs with me. Now, I'm gonna have enough catalogs no matter what because I'll have extra in my car, but I want her to understand that confirmed yeses are important. Um, don't forget, this is the most important time to make those um, last minute reminder calls just like your doctor's and dentist's office. I have a textable image that I can send you. If you don't have time to make calls, just download it to your phone and text it to all the people who said yes, they were coming. It's like a little finger with a bow tie on it says, don't forget my party. Um, uh, also remember that we're going to close your show within two days of your shows. So you want to tell everybody who said they can't make it, but they want to see the link or they want to place an order. See if you can try to have all those orders together before I get there, then I can just add them right into your show and then you'll have a better idea of how much of a free shopping spree you have and that we're not waiting for straggler orders. Now, the reason we're telling our hostess is this is because that's what we want. They don't know what we want unless we tell them what we want. Um, I just wanna remind you, Deb, that for every booking we get, you get a, um, a half price item called a future party pick. But if you wanna turn those um, bookings into your own business, again, I know I talked to you about it twice. I am totally not pressuring you at all. I just think that you would be really great at this. And if you change your mind all the way up until the day of the party, we can let your friends know that if they host a show, they'd be hosting with you, okay? What do you think? If they say they're considering it, say, I would love for you to talk to my friend, Sue, who helps train me. She's great, she'll go over all the details with us. She'll answer any of the questions that I can't answer. Is there a time better for you that we can talk? We can have a three-way call. Um, I'm gonna arrive at your house, Deb, about 30 minutes in advance. As a new consultant, I might say 45 because it takes longer to get ready and you don't wanna seem frazzled when the guests arrive. Um, tell me, is my GPS gonna get me to your house, Deb, or when I get way up there, is my GPS gonna drop out? Is it going to reroute me on a one-way road that is a class six road? Had that happened before? Um, so tell me, and also, because it's uh, winter time right now, Deb, I can't see your house number, so is there a mailbox or something or something that I can see that I know that I'm pulling into the right driveway? Um, Deb, I have unlimited Wi-Fi, so I don't need to access your Wi-Fi at your house, but if there is not great cell phone signal there, do you have your Wi-Fi password? 
It's not crucial. I can run my app offline and then update it when I get back into, but it's a little bit easier. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. So that is the three call system for host coaching. And I will stop recording.